In this video, we discuss procedural languages. So procedural languages are one of the most common programming paradigms in use. It's highly likely that the first language you learned was a procedural one. They're often referred to as imperative languages, where the word imperative literally means to give an order or an instruction. Procedural languages focus on telling a computer exactly what to do by the way of step-by-step -step instructions. Procedural languages lay code out as a series of statements such as sequence, selection and iteration. The code is developed in a modular way. Blocks of code identify set tasks that need to be completed and we achieve this by making use of procedures and functions. In the exam, you need to be able to read, trace, amend and write procedural program code using a variety of the constructs and systems available. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are the main features of procedural languages? So just before we end the video, a quick note about different procedural languages. The exam board doesn't actually specify which specific procedural languages you should learn. That choice is most likely up to your teacher. Now, although the syntax of each language is a little different, the underlying concepts are exactly the same. We use a variety of different languages in our examples and throughout our videos, but don't worry if the code doesn't exactly match what you're being taught. Learn the concepts and apply them to your chosen language. Thank you.